And there she goes. Feel like a punch in the gut. Well, Bob, quite obviously, your blade broke. Bob, your blade suffered a critical failure in the very first strike of the very first test. Oops. For that reason, I have to ask you to please leave the forge. Forged in Fire is a competitive TV show wherein bladesmiths battle for $10,000. There are multiple rounds, multiple weapons to be made if you progress, and multiple challenges for said weapons. During the show's many seasons, there have been some crazy occurrences. Welcome to Film Trip. In this video, we're going over 10 absolutely crazy moments on Forged in Fire. Before we begin, remember to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and wait to find out what happened in number 1. Number 10. Bob and the Ramrod In this clip, a contestant named Bob's weapon was onto the strength test. In order to see if their weapon was strong enough, the weapon was to be chopped into the ramrod 10 times. Bob was up first, and he was nervous from the very beginning, as if he somehow knew what was about to happen. Before his weapon was even tested, he showed great concern as he explained how steel can definitely be finicky. He talked about how sometimes steel can hold up great, and other times it will just snap in your face. On the very first chop, his blade split right in half. Bob, of course, was disappointed, but he explained that he was just proud of himself for being able to create a knife in only three hours and in the extreme circumstances. Even though Bob had a really great attitude about it, it's still pretty crazy to see a blade fail on the very first part of the very first test. And there she goes feel like a punch in the gut. Well, Bob, quite obviously, your blade broke. Bob, your blade suffered a critical failure in the very first strike of the very first test. Oops. For that reason, I have to ask you to please leave the forge. Number 9. A Spiked Mace's Kill Test For this round, Sam and Jason, who are the competitors, were told to make a spiked mace. When it got down to the kill test, Sam's weapon progressed nicely and no spikes fell off. Be that as it may, the handle was excessively large and could have even brought about damage to the wielder. When Jason's weapon was tried, five spikes came off, yet it still progressed pretty nicely. When it came down to the strength test, Jason's weapon again lost a significant amount of spikes, yet it was still allowed to progress. When Sam's weapon was going to be strength tested, Sam's weapon's handle was just so huge, the judges concluded it would be too hazardous to even consider testing it, as it could wind up breaking the wielder's wrist. Therefore, Jason won and Sam's weapon lost by default. This was surprising, since from every other angle, Sam's weapon appeared to be significantly better and more sturdy. And it seemed like the viewers agreed, as people were publicly annoyed that Jason won, since many of his spikes fell off. Overall, a lot of people thought it was crazy that the judges even made this ruling. The handle's heavier in my head. It's heavy, it's hard to control. Yeah, and especially on this test, it's brutal. It's gonna snap. It's gonna break somebody's wrist. Number 8. Ron versus Ice. This clip was during the very first tests. This test was where a judge would vigorously cut into a large chunk of ice 10 times with your blade. Ron's blade was up, and at first it was extremely promising. It had successfully chopped through the ice 9 times, and there was only one more to go. Then, on the very last blow, Ron's blade split. The outer material had separated from the inner steel. The knife had suffered too catastrophic of a blow, and Ron was out. It would be so frustrating and crazy to lose something like that on the very last chop of the round. Oh, Ron, this is definitely a big issue here. The material sheared right away from the, uh, the sprocket steel here. Ron, your blade has suffered a catastrophic blade failure in our strength test. Unfortunately, that means that your blade did not make the cut. I have to ask you to please leave the forge. Thank you. Number 7. Frankish Throwing Axes Kill Test This test was of the final two competitors. They both had to make a Frankish throwing axe. Both competitors' weapons were solid, making this a very memorable and entertaining kill test. Both weapons were able to give deep cuts upon every blow. Both weapons were also able to completely crush the skulls of the dummies, resulting in gushes of fake blood going absolutely everywhere. Overall, this kill test was extremely crazy to watch, as it was so deadly to the dummies. Number 6. 
Hanzo Katana Kill Test. This clip is of the two finalists left in the competition. They were both tasked with making a Hanzo Katana, a weapon with only one mission, to kill. In the clip, they showed both contestants' weapons against their respective dummies. Overall, both weapons held up well, and both were dubbed as able to kill. This kill test was extremely crazy, as both weapons seemingly destroyed the dummies. Number 5. Season 3, Episode 10's Worst Injuries This clip featured stories from a ton of people who were featured on Season 3. They all talk about some of the worst injuries that they have ever sustained, and some of them sound unbearably painful. From burning metals getting on your body, to accidentally getting sparks in your mouth, to accidentally getting curved blades stuck in your hand. These injuries are intense. A lot of them I have never even thought about as a possibility of happening while bladesmithing. Let's just say, hearing these stories is extremely crazy. What's the worst injury you've ever gotten while forging? Well, I've got quite a few. Cut off wheels. Had one fly apart, stuck in my forehead through my bandana. So I took a pair of vice grips, grabbed the whole of it, yanked it out. Ooh, and then I pulled my bandana off and I had a slit into my skull. Number four, Carl versus a door. In this clip, it's down to the final two competitors. Both competitors had made it to the strength test. For this strength test, both weapons would be repeatedly hit at a wooden door. As the judge is using Carl's weapon to hit the door, he realizes that a piece was about to fall out. He asks Carl about the weapon's construction, and the judge is actually able to pull the piece out from the weapon. Since it would be too much of a safety hazard to just put the piece back and continue hitting, Carl loses by default. We've seen pieces of weapons fly off many, many times, but I've personally never seen a judge straight up pull off a piece of a weapon because it's a hazard. Number 3. Backsword Kill Test this test was of the final two competitors' backswords. Both weapons ended up doing well, and they were both able to cut all the way through the dummies and deliver a large amount of damage to them. It's always really entertaining watching well-made weapons during the kill test, especially when it ends with the dummies getting their head cut off. First up, I really like the way the Damascus pattern shows in your sword. Now, your handle, it's comfortable. There are no hot spots. Every cut you do with this blade is sharp enough to cut deeply. Overall, your weapon will kill. Thank you very much. Number 2. Jody versus an Antler This clip is to test three competitors' knives. Jody's knife is up, and at first it could take a few hits. However, it does eventually break, and that causes Jody to lose. As Jody leaves, he talks about how he's going to just keep making that same blade over and over again, just to prove to himself that he can. He also talks about how his competitors were so great to lose to, and he couldn't have picked better ones. Overall, I think it's an interesting part of the show how most of the contestants are always so mature when they lose. It's very good to see. My last 18 years in the military has taught me anything. It's adapt and overcome. I'm probably going to make this knife again and again, just so I can prove to myself that I can still do it. And number one, Levi versus Shield. This clip was of the final challenge between Ashe and Levi. Ashe's weapon went first, and it successfully took 9 blows to the shield before splitting. So Levi's weapon needed to stay intact for more than 9 hits in order to win the competition. However, it wasn't even close, as Levi's weapon broke on the first hit, making Ashe the winner. It seemed like the stakes were so high, and there was so much tension built up, so it was crazy that Levi's weapon just completely bit it on the very first blow. That was our list of 10 absolute crazy moments on Forged in Fire. What did you think of our list? Which did you think was the craziest? Let us know in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching Film Trip.